Hey guys, so tonight we're having uh, some leftovers as our main meal for today. We do this quite a lot because as we cook through the week we collect our leftovers and sometimes we'll have like an entire evening meal of different leftovers just to use everything up. But tonight I'm using some leftover roast beef. So I'm going to make Yorkshire puddings. We're going to shave the roast beef, going to make a horseradish mayo, some green onions, and uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do, so let's get to it. So this is the batter mixer dispenser. Looks like a fancy gadget, right? So I've already pre-measured these, so I'm using equal amounts of, right, so I'm using equal amounts of egg. So for what we're doing today, it's going to be four eggs which is a cup of eggs, about a cup of milk, and a cup of flour. I throw in a nice good pinch of salt, and I'm using so much because we're using the new muffin pans for our Yorkshire pudding pans. So there's the new, there's the new muffin pans, like the big giant ones that you see in the store. Right, so yeah. I'm gonna to toss that bad boy in there, lock it off. Simple as that. Child's plate. Anybody can do it. And there is your batter all mixed, ready to go. Traditionally, I would have in the past used a bowl and a whisk, but this with this gadget, it just eliminates that and it's much quicker and easier. Okay, now I'm going to let that sit for a bit, and I'm going to get on with shaving the roast beef. I'll just put that back there out of the way. A bit of a wipe down here because I did, did spill. Just pull that ball forward. And this, this here is our new carving set. Nice fork, nice knife. So I like to have this all really wafer thin cut so that when it's all in the Yorkshire, the gravy actually heats the meat. Because when we cook the meat, we actually cook the meat to the right, the right thing for us. So we all like it nice and thin. I'm not gonna bore you with too much of it. But you get the general idea. Okay, so we're gonna make a dozen Yorkshire puddings. Let me just move that out of the camera view. <laughs> so I'd like to take credit for this trick, but it's not mine. It's actually from a famous TV chef. I watched him do this once and I was like, that's a great idea. So when you're putting your oil in your Yorkshire pudding pans, put about the same amount of oil in the top of each. So I use about, about a tablespoon of oil for these. And literally, I don't know if you can see this happening, so you just stand it up. And when the oil comes up on the bottom, the bottom pan to the edge, sit it down. And that way you have about the same amount of oil in each, pan, in each, each hole for your Yorkshires. So I've preheated our oven here to 400 degrees. So I'm just going to throw those guys in there because we want that oil smoking hot for the batter. Here I'm making our uh, horseradish mayo. So I've taken some mayonnaise, horseradish and a little squeeze of lemon. Mix it together. Boom. I love these little one, prep, 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 one cup prep bowls. They make things so easy. I've chopped up some green onions and I've tossed some kale salad in the new mixing bowl and used the small chef's tongs for that. Okay, on with business. So with the batter mixer dispenser, before you dispense, you've got to put the silicone cover over the mixer, which is what gives you the seal inside 
for the dispensing part. And it dispenses from the bottom. So if you can see underneath, there's a silicone stopper in there. So I'm just gonna get this down to the top of the batter. Okay, so the trays have been in the oven at 400, so they should be smoking hot by now. So I'm just gonna get one out. Bring it over here, and then literally, it's as simple as that, guys. I'm using the, the small setting on the dispenser, which you can see on the side there. I've got to get these in the oven, I'll show you in a second. Otherwise, the oil is going to get cold and they're not going to cook. Again, we're talking about consistency, the right, the right amount of oil, the right amount of batter, back in the oven, close the oven, and they'll be in there for about 10-15 minutes to cook up. Don't open the door, otherwise you your puddings go, they go flat. Okay, so on the side here, you can see you've got three settings. I use the small one. You can see there's no batter left. Equal amounts, off you go, ready to go. Here we are, we're ready to take the Yorkshire puddings out of the oven. Moment of truth, I've had the light on, I've had a look. They might be cooked, they should be cooked. Hopefully they're not duds and they go flat when they come out. So, here we go. Oh, those look nice. Pretty fancy schmancy. Okay, there we go. A dozen Yorkshire puddings ready for consumption by the fam family. So let's get them onto a separate plate to cool down before these ones go on the table. So we do 12 and then obviously. <coughs> Everybody likes to get their share. If the teenagers were here, they'd actually do the math. It's about the only time I see the teenagers doing any math. And they'll be doing, hey, you've done 12, so that's two each. Okay. So let's start plating up. So two, two Yorkshire puddings on the plate. And then we're going to heap in some of the shaved beef into these like so. Get some of our horseradish mayo. It's in the top. Like that. And this is our reheated gravy from when we had the our original meal the other day. Just gently reheated on the stove. And then some green onion. over the top. Et voilà.